The second leg of the Moors Millions is next is the 4 mile 3 version. And it's a grade 3 this for some reason. I don't know why. These are not normally grade 3s. Anyway, National Apocalypse at the top for Joshua Sutherland. Southside giving me on last year's Grand National winner. National Madam Joshua Sutherland. Roosevelt drop. David Robertson tints in fire or Padre Hogan, sweet woman David Hooley, fire lord Leon Van Rensburg, friendly vantage Darren Thompson, the gentle blade Leon Van Rensburg, Dino Wager, David Robertson, Captain Mannering, Martin Lidham, Frozen Hope Darren Thompson, Shaman de Fay, Padre Hogan, Tiama Vonas, Derek Hinton, Pulsatilla and Glen Five, Redlock for Alex Cherry, and ironical Harold for Graham Clutterbuck, a calling and racing. And Answers on a postcard, please, as to why this qualifier is a grade three. Anyway, National Madam's in the lead. Shamon de Fay. He's disputing it for the lead, and Josh still looks like he's got a big, big hand in this season's Grand National. It's one of the best performances from long distance horses coming from his horses so far. And he very kindly calls them all national or something to help me out, figuring out which ones are the ones he thinks are going to win the national. One of these days, he'll, he will win one. As they come down to the second, which they all get over nicely. And National Madam is in the lead form. Stable mate, National Apocalypse, just second on the outside of the yellow jacket in Chamon de Fay. Dino Wager. And Tiama Vonas, tints in finals after that one. Captain Mannering in the stripes wide on the track. Alex Cherry's pair are even wider. Glenfire, Fredlock, and Paul Sotilla, they've both been around a while. And Alex will go over for a quick fire double as they get over the third. And he's not going to get it with Glenfire, Fredlock because again, Glenfire, Fredlock has fallen. Well, if you remember back to the last race, his horse fell in that as well, but the other one won. So maybe that's a sign as they get over the next. This National Madam in front. The Padre Hogan pair tints in far and the and the fade. Captain Mannering staying wide on the track. National Apocalypse is tracking its stable mates. They come up past the screen, past the winning post. Two complete circuits of the non fictitious fairy house to go. And National Madam is in the lead. I seem to remember we had that I mean, a different race, so some of you may not have heard that early race. I was mentioning earlier about Doug not believing that Fairy House was real. And um, over we go for the next one. And also, for you over that, and then the very next week, I think we sent him to Leopardstown, and he didn't believe that was real either. And so, I've got this idea that all oh, the names of the courses in Ireland were made up. But anyway, it's National Madam in the lead. Went into this ditch. Looks they all get over okay. Well, Dino Wager and Southside have fallen now. Southside was the Grand National winner last year, so that one, whether it went when I was waffling about Doug or whether it went at that last one, I really can't say. But Dino Wager's gone as well, so apologies for that. As they get over the seventh, I'm not supposed to apologise apparently, it's a sign of weakness. So somebody says, but I think if you know you've done something wrong, you ought to stick your hand up and say so. Anyway, National Madam's in the lead. From Tintin Farrell in second. And Frozen Hope is third. National Apocalypse fourth. And then Captain Mannering as they get over the eighth. And they're all over that one okay as well. National Madam's opened up a good five length lead. Into number nine. Jumped on a little bit slow, but over it okay. The. Leon van Rensburg pair out the back, Fire Lord and the Gentle Blade. National Madam into this ditch with a clear lead. All safely over that one, Tints in Fire or second, Frozen Hope third. Then National Apocalypse, Captain Mannering and Pulsar Tiller. And the Advantage Friendly with Tiama Vonas and Shamal de Fay. Chronicle Harold is after that as they get over the next. And they've got a back group of four, which is the Gentle Blade, Sweet Wind, Roosevelt Drop, and finally Fire Lord. And they've still got two and a half miles to go. And a National Madam is four lengths clear. 
frozen hope and tints in fire up. And our ironical Harold is after that one. And that's an apocalypse, then Tiama Volas on the inside. The second one, well, Attila in the orange sleeves for Alex Cherries on the outside of the second Vajray Gogan horse. Which is Shimmer on the fight. Captain Manor is just behind him in the purple and white stripes. Who's has made a bit of ground is the gentle blade, Leon van Rensburg's royal blue with a gold cap. And sweet women. And Rosabelle drop and finally Fire Lord is the back marker. We've still got over two miles to go. And National Madam is four lengths clear. Into number 14. Oh, Frozen Hope second. Tintin Fire third, ironical Harold a clear fourth now. Tiama Vonas is going the shortest way around. Tracking that on his sweet women. We're going to get a little bit closer. Captain Marion was a little bit untidy over that one. Fire Lord remains three lengths adrift with the rest of them. In fact, he's about the same distance adrift as National Madam is ahead as they come up past the stands and past the winning post. One more circuit left of Fairy House. And it's National Madam who's got the lead. Frozen Hope is second. Tinsin Vora is third. Non Radical Harold is four. Friendly Advantage is five. And then Shimmer to face six. And Dark Gentle Blade is seven. And National Apocalypse is eight. And Tioma Vona is nine. And then Sweet Women ten. And Captain Mannering is after that one. And then Pulsar Tiller. And finally Fire Lord now no more than a length off the nearest rival as they come into this next plane one. And they all get over that one. Okay, with National Madam continuing to show the way to Tintin Fire and Fire and Hope. And Shaman the Fan friendly advantage. The gentle blade is tucked in nicely behind them. Rosabelle Drop is starting to make a forward move. So to sweep women as they get over this ditch. And there's a fall there. It's Rosabelle Drop that's gone. And just as she was starting to make a, a, a move forward, she's fallen. And he's now out of the race. So National Madam continues to lead them by three. To Chamon de Fay. Over this next one they go. All safely over that one. With the Gentle Blade now moving into second. Frozen Hope third. Tinsin Vital four. Chamon de Fay five. Then comes Sweet Women in the Purple Jacket on the inside. The one that's coming really wide around the track is National Apocalypse. And Fire Lord is tracking that one as they take the 19th. Over the 19th they go. Captain Manor in a shuffle towards the rear of the field now. But the National Madam is three lengths clear of the Gentle Blade in second. Tintin Vora on the rail is third. Then comes Chamon de Fay as they take this next one. And there's a fall of there. Tioma Vonas has gone. Tioma Vonas has gone for Derek Hinton. As they race down towards the next. It's National Madam who leads by three to Tintin Vora. Chamon de Fay over this ditch. Oh, get over. Oh, they don't get over. There's a four there. The gentle blade's gone. Sweet women's gone as well. Fire Lord has gone as well. So, all sorts of mayhem at that one as they come towards the turn now. Then, and they're going to make this turn with National Madam in the lead. And suddenly, the field is decimated. Tintin Fire is in second. Captain Manor now running on into third as they take the 22nd. Then comes Frozen Hope. Friendly Vantage after that one. Shaman de Fay and National Apocalypse. Then a gap back to Pulsar to the an ironical Harold. And they're the only ones left in it. As it's National Manor who kicks on again. Captain Manor is in second now. Tintin Farrell is third. Shimon the Fay four. Frozen Hope five. Friendly Advantage is six. And then comes National Apocalypse. After that one, ironical Harold Pulsar Tiller. He's out of shot. They've still got quite a lot of fences to get over. And they get into this next one. The leader really attacked it and got away with it well. It's National Manor who's now six or seven clear. Difficult to see anything getting anywhere near this one. Captain Manor is second. Tintin Farrell and Shimon. Him and the Fay going past that one, then friendly vantage and frozen hope over the 24th. That's the third from home, and they all go over that okay. They've only got two to take, and National Madam is miles in front from Shim and the Fay and Tints in Fire. Friendly vantage is next. Then comes Frozen Hope, Captain Mannerin's beating and back piddling. Then comes National Apocalypse, and Ironical Harold, and finally Pulsar Tiller. But it's all about National Madam, who is eight lengths clear at this point. National Madam, eight lengths clear of the rest of them, has just got to pop over. Two fences to win this, surely. Gets over the second last. Well clear of Shimon de Fay. And Tintin Fire. Then friendly advantage. And Frozen Hope. They come down 
towards the final fence. And it's National Madam who's well clear. Surely got to pop it. Pops over it nicely. Shim on the foe. He's trying to close, but not going to get anywhere near this leader. And National Madam has staked another claim for the Grand National now. Seen off a stable companion, National Apocalypse. And really admittedly getting a little bit away, but not that much. And up towards the line, National Madam takes it. Shim on the foe second. Tinsin fire a third. Frozen Hope four. National Apocalypse five. Friendly Vantage next. Then came Captain Mannering out on his feet. Ironical Hatton finally pulls a tiller. And a drama filled race. And once again, it's one of those Joshua Sutherland get him in the lead and stay there jobs. And I think that is going to put everything out of the out of the handicap for the Grand National. Because look at that National Madam for Joshua Sutherland takes it. Shem on the fay for Padre Hogan second. Tinsin Farrell. And Patrick Hogan again third, Frozen Hope Darren Thompson fourth, and the fifth horse to finish, I think, was Joshua Sutherland's other one. Indeed, it was National Apocalypse, which was running off one seven one. Um, so yeah, the leader was getting the winner was getting quite a bit of weight off his stable, mate. But that'll be closer in the weights next time.